Hello everyone, welcome to Visit Malta channel. In this video, I am going to explain about a rental declaration form that has been provided by your landlord. Okay, and it requires for your single working permit uh, application residence card. Okay, let me show you uh, the rental declaration form on how to fill. Okay, this is the rental declaration form that has been required by Identity Malta when you apply for a residence card okay so this rental declaration form and the declaration by landlord page in the form C5A is almost similar but still both the form has to be submit in the first time when you apply for a residence card even in the renewal of your residence card after one year you have to submit this declaration by landlord also in declare uh, rental declaration form see both this form has to be filled by your landlord and uh, uh, submit to the identity malta by you okay so when you submit the form c5 and uh, al along with the rental declaration form okay so let me explain what is the important information that your landlord has to be full okay and uh, detail of the tenant which is your retail the name and id number if you are applying the very first time of your residence card you can leave this id number field blank if you are renewing your id card then you can mention your id card number here all right then the telephone number and the address you are staying which might be your uh, property address of your landlord okay not not the landlord where uh, they are staying the address is where you are staying okay it's since it's a tenant information you have to give your address in here in malta okay it's a malta address and your email address and uh, this section is completely detailed of the owner of the property which is the owner name and owner residence card and telephone number and address where the owner is staying for example owner might stay somewhere a different location in malta and they have a property which is rented to you in a different location okay so owner has to provide their address where they are currently staying right and the email address the next one is indicate the duration of the letting of the property named in point one okay here so how long you are going to stay in the respective property that you are uh, planning to stay here in malta so you have to mention the date which is exactly uh, you signed in the contract okay when i say signed in the contract in your rental agreement contract there will be a date uh, which the contract was active so that is the date you have to give here okay so here most of the landlord is signed the contract for one year so if you are signing the contract for february 2000 uh, sorry for october uh, uh, 2021 the contract will end next year 2022 september september end okay so you have to mention the date exactly as mentioned in the rental agreement that you are signing with your landlord okay so that is uh, the date which has to be matched okay because they may require your rental agreement copy if it's mismatch your application might get rejected okay and you will have to resubmit everything unnecessarily and there is a lot of time also will be waste so make sure the date is starting date and ending date mentioned as per the rental agreement contract that you are signing with your landlord okay and the next one is indicate whether the person named above is a joint tenant which means you are staying uh, with the with the rental property alone or you are staying with any other uh, shared with any other uh, member that has been already rented for the respective property so if you are shared you can select s and number of people you shared with the respective property you have to mention how many uh, number of people they are already staying so you have to mention the number if it's a two or you can just say two or if it's a four you can say four all right and uh, indicate whether there is a subletting or third party property management agreement so if you are if you are staying with the, the uh, through through the agent signing the contract with the agent you can say yes and copy of the agreement with the agent also have to be attached in the rental declaration form all right 
and finally your uh, owner has to be sign the document and the date and the original copy has to be submit to the identity malta when you submit your form c5 okay along with the form c5 you have to submit the rental declaration form and also again the declaration by the landlord form so basically as i mentioned already your landlord has to fill two forms uh, which has the similar information uh, one form one form uh, i mean one page that is coming from the form c5 okay with the name of landlord a declaration by landlord another form is completely a rental declaration form right so both the form has to be filled by your landlord and provided to you which you need to submit to the identity malta when you submit uh, for a residence card or when you renew your residence card every one year all right so that is important and um, so that is all the rental declaration form about uh, and uh, for what you required okay and if you think this information is very useful please like and share this video to the people who's really required and want to know about more uh, the rental declaration form okay and also don't forget to subscribe my channel to see more videos about working permit and about maltas okay and if you have any clarification you can always reach me out to visit at gmail.com or you can leave the comment in this video which i'll uh, revert back to you within 48 hours all right good luck and see you soon in the next video